You submitted a quote on dibs and now you're just waiting to be awarded that contract. But that takes time. And in the meantime, something has changed. Maybe your vendor has updated their lead time or maybe price has shifted or maybe, and this is common, a contracting officer reached out to you to extend your quote. Regardless of the reason, you need to revise your quote. But the question is how? If a contracting officer contacts you for a quote extension, that's a good sign. It means that they're actively reviewing the solicitation and considering your offer. It does not guarantee that you're going to win, but if you don't revise your quote, you're automatically out. So the question is, what do you do? To revise your quote, you, what you want to do is you want to start by logging into the Dibs website. And once logged in, enter the solicitation number or the PR number linked to your quote. That's going to bring up the RFQ. Next, you're going to find this green check mark. That tells you that the quote has already been submitted. What you want to do is click that. Now, the next screen is it's going to ask for your cage code. And for the life of me, I don't know why you've already logged into the system, but type it in anyway. Here, you're going to find your quote details. You're going to see exactly who on your team submitted the quote and when that quote was submitted. Like this one right here was submitted back in December. And right now, it's mid-May, a very long time. From here, you've got options. One, you can click the revise to edit the quote. Or two, you can click on the queue to find your original submission. If you do click revise, it will bring you back to the quote entry screen. At this point, you can now update your price, your lead time, or any other details inside of that bid. Double check everything. This revision will overwrite your original bid and extend your quote. And now you're done. Your revised quote is now live and replaces the original. For us, we revise any of our quotes anytime that the contracting officer requests an extension. If that extension is requested of us, before we revise our quote, we go back to the vendor to make sure that the pricing has stayed the same or any other details have changed. And I recommend you do the same. And that's how you revise your quote.